What's going on YouTube? Isaac here. Talk to you today about this knife, the RMJ Tactical UCAP. UCAP stands for Up Close and Personal. This knife um, designed as a uh, self-defense tool for first responders, military, you know, your last ditch option here. Um, it is a compact size fixed blade. Uh, great for EDC purposes and easily concealable. I have on mine a Ulta clip, which can open that there, and that just clips on to your waistband or belt. So, very handy. Let me know if you've ever tried one of them for your knives or perhaps a firearm. But we got a nice kydex sheath here, very thin in profile. So let's take a look at the blade. We have got Nitro V steel, all black out on this edition with a kind of ridged black Cerakote coating there. And we got textured black G10 handles. So the overall length of this knife, according to the RMJ website, is eight and a quarter inches. However, they list the blade length at 3.9 inches and the handle length at three and seven eighth inches. So that doesn't add up to Eight and a quarter inches so you know just just figure this knife is somewhere around eight inches in overall length and just to show just a quick little size comparison here it is with the buck model 110 holding hunter knife that probably most are familiar with and can get a good gauge on size I think the you got the blade right at about right at four inches there, which is a nice utilitarian size. It comes sharp, and that you know, this this black coating, I, th I think it's very cool. Uh, this knife does come in a variety of different colors. It's an eighth inch thick on the spine, full tang here, as you can see. Obviously, a clip point. Got that nice finger guard there and sharpening choil to get this nice and sharp. Some say the handle is a bit small, and I would agree. It's definitely shorter than most fixed blade knives. It's like four inches right on the dot, just like the blade. Screwed in there, if you can see. Maybe not. <laughs> But there is a, it looks like a large, you know, star bit there where you could take the handles off and put, put uh, different ones on if you so choose. Cuts through paracord. This has been used and carried, so it's not out of the box sharpness. So maybe I need to, it seemed a little rough, maybe I need to touch that edge up a little bit. But definitely a great knife for EDC. Very cool design. Uh, I mentioned in the beginning of this video, this is Nitro V steel, which is <clears throat> similar to AEBL, which is the stainless steel of choice of companies like LT Wright handcrafted knives. So, you know, it's got a... ABL has got to be something good if they use it because they're highly respected and if Nitro V is similar then I reckon that's got to be pretty good too. Um, but I believe RMJ has ceased using Nitro V and newer versions of this knife will come in S45 VN stainless steel. So either way you're getting a pretty good knife. I think the Rockwell hardness on both of those steels um, from RMJ 
be between 59 and the 60 on the Rockwell hardness scale, so you get good edge retention here. So very nice, very nice blade. I would recommend it to anybody looking for an EDC fixed blade knife. Good for self-defense, sharp and pointy, good for general cutting tasks. Hope you enjoyed this look. Have a fantastic day. Until next time.